assalamu alaikum my name is kiran fahim i am the student of msc honor animal nutrition college of agriculture university of sagoda today is my topic under discussion feeding systems for poultry what is poultry feed poultry feed is food for farm poultry including chicken duck geese and other domestic birds feeding methods fully formulated single dice phases starter grower finisher bisser diet that is modified and choice compound diet plus supplemented grain whole wheat maize and grain mash is old term high protein concentrate plus vitamins and minerals plus grain calcium fed separately for layers and the third one is free choice or cafeteria multiple feed ingredient offer in separate feeder now starting with feeding systems most of the poultry ration first formulated were used to supplement locally produced cereal grain grown on the average small farm but when birds were reared or commercial scale birds were confined to indoors and thus the need for in feeding formulated ration was felt thus feeding a formulated feed which is balanced in all the essential nutrients needed for normal growth and production of birds is called complete feed complete feed does not require any supplementation you may see these are the automatic feeding systems poultry feed line system broiler chicken feeding system chicken farm equipments it may called w z h poultry feeder also called pan feeders has some special design which makes the poultry feeder function well removable cope for ease of installation easy and positive feed depth adjustment choice of ergonomic grills three large feed windows anti rake fine fins feed pond and grills form a large feed saver lip choice of pan diameters and depth profiler deep v bottom nestles into the litter during brooding which promotes feed savings you can see this in picture these are another example of pan feeders automatic feeding systems is a favorite feeding system for modern large chicken farm there are main, many kinds of feeding system now but the working principle and the equipment configuration of the system are ap- approximately the same we are your one stop poultry supplement your supply store make feeding your poultry and game birds a snap We have several different styles of poultry and game bird feeder to choose from. Everything from range feeder to feeder plate form, baby chick feeders to chick in 50 pound feeders and more. Make sure that all of your birds have access to the right amount of clean fresh feed. We carry a wide selection of feeder from chicken feeders, chick feeder to large range feeders and everything in between. you can see there in the pic now come to the different feeding system for feeding of poultry these are ad libitur feeding control feeding which may include force feeding third one is restricted feeding and the last one phase feeding first one is ad libitur feeding this system is also called free choice feeding in this system feed is always available and the bird can eat at will ad libitum feeding is practiced in broiler chicken when maximum body weight is the ultimate goal for rearing the birds ad libitum feeding is easy to manage feed can be supplied for several days at a time and need no monitoring or supervision of the bird daily intake in this system our birds regulate its total intake their intake of nutrients themselves due to the higher cost of feed ad libitum feeding system is not of very great interest Second one is control feeding which include force feeding it is sometimes attempted for a short while in first week when turkey poults do not learn or try to pick up their feed force feeding may be employed in other species if feed and water are denied for more than 36 or to prevent body dehydration mash water mixture sweeter milk skim milk should be fed a 25 ml syringe or a laboratory pipette fitted with a rubber catheter or smooth tube may be employed to force the slurry down the gullet second third one is restricted feeding 
Restricted feeding during the growing period means an actual reduction of nutrients intake below minimum requirement of birth. Feed intake is reduced either by limiting feed offered to 85 to 90 percent of normal feed intake, or by diluting the conventional feed with fibrous material of low nutrient density or following skipper day feeding. In skipper day feed, it is provided on the first day at 95 percent level of the two day ration. On the second day, birds are not given any feed, and some whole grains may be spread on litter. Feed restriction is recommended until 21 to 22 weeks of age, up to 5 percent egg production level. This is the example of restricted feeding. It is reported that low protein or low lysine diets are able to produce slightly more delay in sexual maturity than quantitative feeding restriction. Pullet birds on restricted feeding require 5 to 10 days longer to reach sexual maturity. There is a reduction in the number of small eggs let at the common commencement of production. Restricted feeding is also practiced in broiler since excess weight of breeders affect fertility and egg production. Allowing birds an unlimited supply of feed may be with some strains result in heavy overconsumption. The birds are liable to consume too much energy and this will be converted into body fat which is turn lead to a higher maintenance requirement. In addition, birds become too fat and resulting in reduced egg production and infertility and mortality may be increased. Restricted feeding program are therefore recommended for some strains of laying chicken. Restricted feeding is essential to delay sexual maturity and is thus essential during growing stage to retard live weight grain from becoming too fat and allowing them to economize production. In case of broiler chicks, Preferably after 18 days are subject to restricted feeding up to 30 to 35 days of age in order to check the prolific body growing growth resulting into physiological and metabolic disease syndrome like ascites, cardiorespiratory failure, etc. In the majority of cases, the recommended feeding program of the breeder should be the following carefully and only departed for, for every good reason. Over restriction of feed is also harmful and can result in very late maturity and unsatisfactory production. Restricted feeding programs are often started with replacement broiler breeder at about 8 weeks of age and continue through their length life. Advantages of restricted feeding Delay sexual maturity from few days to 3 or 4 weeks, reduces body weight and amount of body fat, Cost of raising pullet is reduced. There is a better livability during egg production. Egg weight is regulated, producing larger eggs. Now, restricted feeding program are followed by different methods. First one is limited everyday feeding program. The birds are given a measured amount of feeding each day, but less than they would eat it full fed. Second one is skip a day feeding, which is limited excess. In this program, birds are fed every other day and the amount of feed given on feed days must be regulated to twice the amount of feed allow allocated on the limited everyday program. Third one is weighting nutrient density. Another approach to the restriction of nutrient intake is diluting the nutrient density of roshan. This can be done either reducing the energy intake, protein restricting, later it based of the idea that laying birds have different nutrient needs at a different phases of their productive level. Fourth one is face feeding. Following during laying phase, face feeding refer to change in the protein level of laying diet during normal production cycle. Such changes are designed to regulate the intake of dietary protein to meet more closely the hen's requirement at various stages of egg production, reduce feed cost and also to help to maintain the egg size. The level of protein in layer ration may be reduced to 17, 16, 15 percent on 90, 70. 5 to 90 and 65 to 75 percent of egg production respectively keeping the feed intake at 100 gram level per day per bird this is the example of phase feeding there are three phases in the production cycle popularity called three phases phase one phase two phase three first one we discussed phase one during the first phase of 20 weeks period from the age of 22 weeks to 42 weeks the bird are expected to reach from zero to peak egg production of 85% or so. This further accompanied into increase in body weight by 500 gram 
to increase in size of eggs from 40 to 60 g therefore the first phase of reproduction is critical for maximum egg production and tissue development thus energy contact of poultry ration should be adjusted to supply required quantity of protein second phase it is the period from 42 weeks of age to 62 weeks when hen have attained mature body weight and egg production and has not gone below 60% level the egg produced are larger and efficiency of protein utilization is approximately 56% during this phase third phase it ranges from 62 weeks to 76 weeks of age or till the spent out birds are discarded during this phase production egg is less than 60 phase feeding can be applied for energy restriction this energy requirement for laying hens varies from 310 kilocalories milli metabolizable energy per day in severe winter to 65 kilocalories in summer this phase feeding refer to change the laying hen diet to adjust to age and state of production in a, to adjust for season of year and for temperature climatic changes to account for different in body weight nutrient requirements of different strains of bird to adjust for more one or more nutrients and other nutrients are changed for economic and availability reasons in phase feeding high protein feed usually 18 to 19% is given from on set of egg production to peak production therefore a low level of protein for example 16% it fed for the next 5 to 6 months followed by a still lower level usually 15% until the laying period is completed phase feeding thus helps to reach higher peak production and sustain it longer thank you so much i hope you like this video